This is CNC World, a new perspective. Talking about river pollution control, people can easily think of Germany, whose major rivers like the Rhine have once been seriously polluted due to industrial development. After dozens of years of treatment, the Rhine and some other rivers flowing through the well-known rural area have recovered their vitality. Some even become popular holiday resorts. Lifestyles shows you a successful case of wastewater treatment in Germany. Before the 1950s, the Rhine was still very clean and clear. People can swim and fish in the river. However, in late 1950s, due to the large-scale reconstruction work after the World War II, a large number of enterprises using the water from the Rhine and discharging large amount of wastewater back. Thus, the Rhine water deteriorated sharply, and fish completely disappeared. In 1957, Germany made the Water Resources Act, or WHG, and completed some amendments in 2009, which came into force in March 2010. The bill specifies water quantity, quality and management, and requires sustainable economic development. The water industry should be based on public well-being and safeguard the interests of water consumers. Under the Federal Water Act, water users must obtain a government license. In addition, the German federal government has also developed a number of regulations to guide the water industry activities, such as maintaining water purity laws, sewage treatment plan, a number of water management plannings. In 1976, Germany made the Affluent Charges Act, which brings in the polluter pays principle to bear environmental costs. The charge is calculated according to the amount and harmfulness of the respective substances discharged and is controlled by the federal government in the area of water quality protection and enhancement. Berlin is Germany's largest city, with a population of over 300 million. It has a comprehensive sewage treatment system. And the industrial wastewater has to fulfill certain requirements. Industry needs a um, permit to um, dis um, discharge into the sewer system, and by this way they have to um, maintain certain standards for the sewer system and then for treating the wastewater in the treatment plant. For example, the chemical industry in Berlin has uh, its own wastewater treatment plant to pre-treat the wastewater before discharging into the uh, sewer system. The total length of its sewers and the sewage main channel are over 10,000 kilometers. Industrial and domestic sewage flows to sewage pumping stations through the sewers. Then the pumping stations pump the wastewater into treatment facilities. Thanks to the sewage pumping station, if the sewage regulators find enterprises or individual discharging sewage, system will refuse to accept it, thus avoid expanding pollution. Wastewater will go through four stages including treatment screening, scrapping, physical purification and biological purification before discharging the water into Berlin's rivers and lakes. In summertime, as many people swim and play in Berlin's rivers and lakes, a sterilization treatment will be added before discharging. Germany's success can be summarized into two aspects. First, making comprehensive laws and regulations. Second, investing heavily on pollution control and establishing regulatory bodies that cover the entire basin. To control pollution of the Rhine, in 1963, bordering countries of Switzerland, France, Luxembourg, Germany and the Netherlands signed agreement to create the International Commission on the Protection of the Rhine against Pollution and the European Economic Community, predecessor of European Community, joined in the Commission in 1976. The Commission developed corresponding regulations to enforce treatment of industrial wastewater before being discharged into the river. It also took strict control on discharging industrial, agricultural and domestic solid pollutants into the Rhine. The offenders would be fined up to 66,000 US dollars. We have our own group for um, controlling the industry. We can take um, um, tests to um, um, measure the concentrations of the wastewater of the industry. And um, we have um, certain um, concentration parameters that they have to meet and if they don't um, meet the parameters in in the worst case we could um, refuse the wastewater and um, then on the other hand there is the government who has to um, take care of the permit um, for the industry 
to discharge into the sewer system. So it's a, it's a dual system of permits that the industry has to have for discharging the wastewater. Surveys showed that in the end of 2002, the Rhine has been restored to the level of biodiversity before World War II. From 1980 to 2005, the relevant countries have invested a total of 27 billion to 40 billion US dollars in treating the Rhine. After years of efforts, the toxic substances in the Rhine have been reduced by 90 percent. At present, the river has about 60 kinds of fish, including the once extinct salmon. This is CNC World, a new perspective.